when I started researching old Black Hollywood actors, I found out that there were quite a few of them who made the decision to pass for white. And there were others who refused to do so, such as Freddie Washington and Evelyn Prier. As I continued on with researching more about old Black Hollywood actors, I came across Carol Channing. And I was so shocked to find out that she was actually African American and she passed for white up until the age of 81 years old when she decided to share with the world that her paternal grandmother was African American. So on today's segment of Old Black Hollywood, we're going to explore her story further and to find out the reason why she made the decision to pass for white in Hollywood. Welcome to Old Black Hollywood. Carol Channing was an actress, singer, dancer, and comedian. She starred on Broadway and in film. She had a distinctive voice. In fact, if you ever saw her on Broadway or even watched Hello, Dolly, you could hear how her voice was very unique. Carol Channing was known for her raspy voice and her smile. She went on to win the Tony Award for her role as Dolly in Hello, Dolly. She was also nominated for Best Supporting Actress for her role as Mutsy in Thoroughly Modern Millie. However, she did win the Golden Globe Award for, again, Thoroughly Modern Millie, playing, of course, Mutsy. Now, before I continue to discuss more about Carol Channing, I would like to share with you this wonderful moisturizing cream that I've been using for the last three months. I no longer suffer from dry skin. And the reason is, ta-da, Cetaphil. This moisturizing cream saved my dry skin. I always had dry skin since I can remember. And I tried everything, even Vaseline. But luckily, when I was in Target three months ago, I came across Cetaphil. Before buying it, I also scanned it from my Yucca app, which helps me decide which products will be good for my health based on their ingredients. And Cetaphil passed the test. It received an 86 out of 100 on the Yucca app, which is excellent. So I brought it home with me and I used it right away. And oh boy, my skin started feeling so great. Cetaphil saved my life. I'm so glad I no longer suffer from dry skin. I put it on me and I feel great. I'm not itching or scratching and my face feels so soft and I've been told I look like I'm glowing. Thanks to Cetaphil. So if you don't believe me, go out there and now, try yourself. Let us move on to talking more about Carol Channing. I also learned that in 1981, she was inducted into the American Theater Hall of Fame. Channing had a thriving career in Hollywood. However, she did so because she passed for white. If Hollywood only knew that she was African American, would she have been offered those leading, supporting, and creative roles? We'll never know. In her memoir, Just Lucky I Guess, she wrote in 2002, that is when she shared with the world that her paternal grandmother was African American. Channing shared also that it was while she was packing to go away to college, her mother told her this important information about her paternal grandmother. I'm going to read you an excerpt from her memoir just lucky, I guess. 
Well, I didn't think it was coming this soon, but now I can't continue this part of the saga of my childhood unless I tell you that when I was 16 years old, packing for leaving home alone for the first time to go to Bennington College, my mother announced to me I was part black. I'm only telling you this, she said, because the Darwinian law shows that you could easily have a black baby. In those days, 1937, this was unique. After reading Channing's memoir, I have to believe that she made the choice to pass for white based on her mother's advice. I wish she would have gone to more details about her father's point of view and how he felt. However, we won't know the truth as to the reason why she decided to pass for white. We could only guess, and my only guess can be is the fact that she did not want anything or anyone to stand in her way from pursuing her career in Hollywood as an actress. And again, she did achieve that she did have great success in all her roles that she played. And you have to wonder again, if Hollywood did actually know that she was African-American, would she have achieved success? I hope you enjoyed this segment about Carol Channing. And if you already knew that she had passed for white up until the age of 81 years old, please comment down and let me know. And also, I would like to hear from each and every one of you, when did you actually find out that Carol Channing was actually African-American? I'm curious to know, because I learned recently.